So hey everyone, this is Karan here. You are welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. And today, in this video, we are going to take a look at the latest MIUI Mix Room available for our Redmi Note 8. This is the latest beta version 20.3.12. What are the features? What is the Yeekman score? Is Google Camera working or not? Everything, all queries are solved in this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Now, let's get straight to the video. Okay, so first of all, let me show you the version MIUI Mix 11.2 beta version by MMX Team 20.3.12 for our Redmi Note 8. When you go to all specs, you can see Android version is still based on Android 9. Yes, there is no Android 10 yet for our device, but soon we will get Android 10 and android security patch level which you get is first of march 2020 finally a miui 11 base room for our device with security patch of first of march which is a very good thing finally a plus point for this room so let's take a look at some other things i'm using a theme as you can see this is my one of the best theme if you have not watched my all previous videos then uh, you will not understand but if you are watching my videos then you can see that I am using this theme in almost all costumes and the name of this theme is wait let me show you the name is the style v11 here it is the style v11 you can go and download this theme if you want if you like it because I just seriously love this theme it looks perfectly it looks perfect it is working great and it is like minimalistic theme for this device that's why i just love this theme home screen as always same swiping right i have chosen google feed but you can choose app vault if you want and as always notification drawer is looking like great because i'm using theme that's why it is looking like this the default camera which you get is the stock mi camera macro all things are perfectly working in this camera because you are using like a stock room that's why all camera modes and wide angle slow motion etc 14 megapixel ported everything will surely work for you you can go and try it out without any issues so there's another plus point that you get the full working full working stock camera in this room which is a very good thing also if you noticed or not i don't know you can see the fonts are changed so third party fonts or all other things are also properly working without any issues at all uh, what is the geekbench score let us take a look at that first here it is the geekbench score which you get here is very very good 312 is the single core score 1350 is the multi core score this room is mainly used for performance and battery backup and the both things you get in this room yes very very good battery backup very good performance you can see the notch is hidden and uh, this option is available in settings which is very good and 312 is single core 1350 is multi core score and wait let me show you the compute OpenCL is 370 OpenCL score is for GPU measuring it is not that much great but not that much bad also so 370 is a very good score let us take a look at some extra features some things which you get in this room are as this room is almost based on stock room so there are not a lot of features available but yes some things are looking perfectly as you can see some features of MIUI 11 if you have not seen this in your stock room like uh, side panel shortcuts this option is not available in I think uh, stock room absolutely in India with room there is no option of side panel shortcuts so this is a very good thing you have to install this room when you go to display you have these options reading mode dark mode you can schedule how uh, when you want to uh, on dark mode or whenever you want to turn off system font which you can change you can see i have used third party fonts which are looking perfectly third party themes can be applied also and notch and status bar you can hide the notch as you can see i have already enabled this setting from here other things are almost same as in all MIUI rooms you can change the text size you can change the text to weight if you want to change this is another very good thing sound and vibration almost same home screen this is the home screen settings default launcher if you if you have any other launcher you can choose 
home screen with app drawer and regular as you already saw that i am using with app drawer and it is perfectly working without any issues at all and uh, when you go to minus one screen like this i have chosen google discover if by default it will be on app world and if you don't want from both of these you can just simply click on none then this will be done for you global search none double tap to lock screen app drawer and other options are available if you want to choose the app drawer settings these are also available home screen layout icon size all other things are almost same and all like special features game turbo quick reply second space and me ui lab these are the things you get here google camera working or not it is perfectly working i think it should work definitely work you can see it is perfectly working this is google camera 7.2 which i am using in this room and it is perfectly working portrait mode is also working camera mode is working video mode is working when you go to more you have these options these are also working so google camera 7.2 is perfectly working for you another positive point so just go and try out this room as soon as possible now let's take a look at the installation now simply what you have to do is you have to boot into custom recovery also you can see you also get the extended power menu option in this room which is another positive thing so just boot into your custom recovery whichever custom recovery you are using i am using twrp not i am using revolution os recovery which is based on twrp official if you want to use TWRP then it's good if you want to use orange fox or pitch black custom recovery that's your choice that's not my opinion so just boot into custom recovery once just decrypt your data by entering your lock screen password and if you are encrypted of course if you are not encrypted then you will not see the decryption screen as now we have just decrypted our data what the first step what you have to do is you have to go to wipe advanced wipe dalvik catch system vendor data after all these things what you have to do is simply swipe to wipe it will take some time so just wait and hold on uh, how much time it will take it is done just go back and install the room file as always i have not the room file available but simply go and install the room file after installing the room file google apps are pre-installed in almost all mii based rooms but magisk is not installed so just install the room reboot if it is not rebooting simply go to format data y e s and done and this is how you can install this room on your device so this is all from today's video i hope you like it thanks for watching goodbye and see you in the next video soon